Could we see a Bullet Club reunion in Impact Wrestling? Ethan Page confirms he has talked to other promotions. And the Money Roll storyline rolls on. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Hope all is well today. Just a quick reminder, I do have my own YouTube channel. You can check it out on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. I should say at the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network on YouTube. Please head on over there, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Please check it out and please hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get going. The Bullet Club. Could we be seeing... A Bullet Club reunion in Impact Wrestling. Will there be, will the Bullet Club show up at Impact Wrestling? We we saw Carl Anderson and Kenny Omega at Final Resolution in the bus. And they had uh, a reunion of sorts. So they haven't, apparently it's been the first time they've been together on TV in years. And they chatted it up for a bit. Uh, they had a nice little uh, reunion uh, spoke for a bit, or they remembered old times, they talked about Japan, among other things, Kenny Omega is saying that he wanted to see the Carl Anderson of old, and he got it in his match with Ethan Page, Carl Anderson hit the gun stun, won the match, and uh, it was a cool, cool little reunion, it was, it was good to see them, and I'm glad that, uh, <laughs> I'm glad that Carl Anderson was actually on the list and he was able to actually leave the building to go uh, into the bus to see Kenny Omega. He didn't get stuck in the building like Rich Swan did last week. So, uh, so Carl Anderson was on the list and was allowed to leave the building uh, to go into the bus. And uh, it was cool. It was cool seeing them together. And, and as you know, you know, Kenny Omega, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows, um, all in the Bullet Club when they were in All Japan Pro Wrestling, um, even Josh Matthews uh, made a reference to the Bullet Club uh, when when the segment was over. Uh, so could there be a Bullet Club reunion in Impact Wrestling? Well, we kind of had a small one with um, with Anderson and Omega, but could it be a larger scale reunion? Anything's possible. Could the Young Bucks come in? Uh, could uh, when Gallows comes back? Um, and by the way, Gallows I was reading is actually off shooting a movie. So uh, there were rumors out there that he had COVID nineteen. That's why we didn't see him. Uh, but it is in fact he's not there because he's out shooting a movie, and uh, he'll be back. Um, I I assume the next set of tapings. Uh, but it would be really cool to see Omega Gallows and Anderson in the ring in an Impact Wrestling ring together, and um, in a. Bullet Club reunion, but I don't think they could use the Bullet Club name. Uh, I know they they said it on they said it um well they could use a name. I what I, just, what I mean to say they can't use the logo, so you won't be seeing any Impact Wrestling Bullet Club T shirts or anything like that. And Tamatanga actually, Tamatanga took a he he threw a shot at them actually. Uh, he's uh, actually in the Bullet Club right now, and uh, he took a shot at them, and he indicated that. If you're not in Bullet Club 2020, you're not in Bullet Club. So Tom Matanga taking a little shot there, which is which is really interesting. Which is really interesting because uh, you, you you can look at it both ways. You can look at it as oh, oh Tom Matanga, uh, just um, he's tweeting something and uh, nothing's going to come of it, or you could look at it as we're going to get the uh, the Bullet Club reunion with Omega Anderson. And Luke Gallows, and maybe even somebody coming over from AEW, maybe the Young Bucks coming over, maybe they'll get involved. And um, New Japan Pro Wrestling is going to take exception to that, and they'll send the actual Bullet Club over, and we'll see a a new Bullet Club versus old Bullet Club um, uh, feud. You never know. You can look at it that way. That happened unlikely. That's unlikely. Well, I shouldn't say unlikely. It could happen. Anything could happen. Never say never in professional wrestling. Uh, but it, it's most likely Tamatanga just shooting a, shooting a, a tweet out. Um, not going to really go anywhere. But you never know. You never know. You could We could see uh, the Bullet Club show up. Or when the Good Brothers head over to, to New Japan Pro Wrestling, which they're eventually going to do, Maybe Tamatanga and the Bullet Club will take him out, and then on the next uh, the next um, visit over there, they'll bring back up. They'll bring Kenny Omega. They'll bring the Young Bucks with him. Anything's possible in professional wrestling. Anything is possible in professional wrestling. Uh, I just I just think it's really cool what's happening right now. 
um, with um, Omega, Carl Anderson, AEW, Impact Wrestling. It's it's really, really cool what's happening right now, and, and, and the buzz is there, man. The buzz is there. Speaking of Omega, uh, apparently, according to Dave Meltzer, according to Dave Meltzer, on this um, upcoming episode of Impact Wrestling, we are going to find out... We are going to find out who Kenny Omega's first opponent will be in Impact Wrestling. So Kenny Omega is reporting on Wrestler Observer Radio that the segment this week will be used to set up Omega's first match at Impact Wrestling. And you got to think it's going to be Rich Swan Because Rich Swan was a little pissed last week that, you know, the poor guy, all he wanted to do was his, his night was over. All he wanted to do was go home. But he wasn't allowed to leave the building. Because uh, Kenny Omega has had res- Kenny Omega Dunk House reserved the parking lot, and the bus was there, so Rich Swan wasn't allowed to go home. So he must be really pissed. And when they in- well, they see the world champions there, and Swan is like, "But I'm um, he's probably really pissed off." So they're gonna probably that I can see Rich Swan fighting his way onto the bus and challenging Kenny Omega to a match. Um, Probably at the next pay per view. Probably in January at at uh, Hard to Kill. Uh, so uh, exciting time! I'm looking forward to it, man. I can't wait. I just I can't wait for the I can't wait for the episode. I want to see uh, see what goes down. See what goes down between um, Kenny Omega and most likely Rich Swan. It could be could be somebody else, but I'm you know I'm betting it's going to be Rich Swan. It's going to be Rich Swan. And you know Don Callis calling kenny omega the real world champion last week that's going to kind of piss rich swan off as well especially rich swan coming off a tremendous win over chris bays that was a great match great match and, and just just congratulations chris bay you had a fantastic december 12th great match against rich swan and a fantastic showing at the uh, super j cup um getting past the first round i was wrong i thought he was going to lose to clark counters he defeated clark counters then he lost to ach in the second round but, uh, but back to Swan and, and Omega, I think it's going to be a fantastic match. I think that's the match that they're setting up, and I'm looking forward to it on Tuesday. Um, big stuff, big stuff, man. Stuff. On, a, on a sadder note, though, on a sadder note, Ethan Page has confirmed that he has had talks with other companies as his uh, Impact Wrestling uh, contract is ticking down. And uh, Ringside News uh, reports uh, that um, Ethan Page, who actually Ethan Page recently spoke with Sports Illustrated about his next career move. Uh, and I'm going to read this here. It said, he said that Impact Wrestling has been amazing for allowing him the opportunity to talk with other companies. So there you have it. So he's been talking with other companies. He also gave them kudos for handling this in an extremely professional manner. Whether Page stays all depends on how much Impact Wrestling values him as a star. This will be a big determining factor in the situation. So there you have it. Ethan Page, in my opinion, is as good as gone from Impact Wrestling. And if you're if if you're if you're holding out hope that he will actually stay, and I, I'm I'm holding out hope. There was actually a tweet from Cody Cody Rhodes who was. Uh, Responding, somebody asked him, "When will you get the story? When will we get the story about your evolve run?" And Cody Rhodes responds, "No story. This was my first foray into the unknown. Got to study how to quantify live audience reactions compared to social traffic, and how difficult it is to thread that needle. Very, re- very rewarding if you succeed." Then he finishes off by saying, "I met Ethan Page. I had fun." So there's a little little subtle hint there that he's interested in signing Ethan Page. I'm sorry, man. I, th- I think Ethan Page is ending up with AEW. I think Ethan Page is, is not coming back. I think Ethan Page will be signing with the AEW, unfortunately. Again, I want him to stay, especially with this whole North breakup thing. You know, I know they... Impact Wrestling had indicated that they filmed a number of uh, different scenarios depending on how contracts are going to be played out on who sides with who. And apparently they're running with, uh, with, Eth- with the Ethan Page-Josh Alexander breakup. Ethan Page says that he spoke with other, other companies and Cody Rhodes dropping Ethan Page's name in a tweet, a subtle hint that he's talking to Ethan Page. So... I know I've said it on the last podcast, and unfortunately, it looks like 
Ethan Page will not be back with Impact Wrestling, and that is very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Um, love Ethan Page. Love the North. And uh, hopefully, hopefully something could be worked out with, with Impact Wrestling and Ethan Page, but it doesn't seem likely at this time. All right. Speaking of unfortunate, speaking of unfortunate, I'm going to have to talk about this. The the, the Money Roll storyline with Hernandez, Falaba, and now Tasha Steeles and Kara Hogan. It's still going on. It's not ended. I, it's been going on for months now, I think. It's been going on for, for not months. It's been going on for a very, very, very long time. It's been going on for way, way too long. And I thought we were going to finally get the end of it when Hernandez took on Falaba with Kiara Hogan as special referee and Tasha Steeles as the special guest ring announcer. I thought that was it. I thought we, this was the payoff match and it was going to be over. Fortunately, it's not over. Did I say fortunately? Unfortunately, it's not over. And um, it's it continued. This is, this is going to be one of the worst storylines. I'm sorry. This is going to be definitely one of the worst storylines that Impact Wrestling has ever done, in in my opinion, in my opinion, and I, I I just had to talk about it because it's it's so bad, it's so bad. Falaba holding on to the roll of money for weeks. First of all, and, and BQ pointed this out. Why not just go spend it? Well, why do you keep bringing it back to the? <laughs> why do you keep bringing it back to the studio week after week and then showing it off? Just just put it in your bank, put it in your bank account, use it for for food, use it for new gear or whatever. Don't don't keep bringing it back. Right and and it's and then Kara Hogan, I'm Kara Hogan, and Tasha Steeles got a hold of it. So Tasha Steeles was was became its guardian. You know, and why is she holding on to it? She 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 has it. Just she's a little smarter, I think, than Falaba. You think she would go out and spend the money? Nope, she didn't spend the money. And and they had the match Hernandez against Falaba. It wasn't a bad match. And Kara Hogan and and uh, Tasha Steeles, they were just fantastic. They made that match very, very enjoyable, very, very watchable. I, I love them as a tag team, and if they don't win the Knockouts Tag Team titles, I'm going to be very disappointed. They are just fantastic. But the match was over. Hernandez won, and Tasha Steeles goes for the roll. It's not in her pouch. So it's uh, unless she's hiding it somewhere, I, I just unless they spoke about it more after the match, it, it appears that the money wasn't in the pouch, and it's hidden now. Nobody knows where it is. Now they have to find the money, and and the storyline rolls on. the the money The money roll storyline rolls on in Impact Wrestling, and quite frankly, I don't think anybody really cares. I don't think anybody really cares. Final resolution was 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 terrific. I, um, I really enjoyed it. Impact Wrestling still Impact Plus still had some technical issues. A lot of people weren't able to get it. I know BQ had uh, had some issues. Luckily, I was able to get it up here in Canada. But they need to sort that out and fix that because it's making them look bad. And uh, hopefully they can fix it out for the next pay-per-view. Uh, I'm sorry, the next uh, Impact Plus um, card, uh, Impact Plus exclusive card, which is going to be Genesis, which they made the announcement. So the Gen- Genesis coming to Impact Plus, um, hopefully they'll have all the, all the technical issues worked out. By then, and hopefully by then, this money roll storyline will be over. And uh, either either spend the money or give it back to Hernandez. That's all. That's all I got. Maybe Scott Demore needs to get involved here, and um, and and get the get the money roll from Tasha Steeles or whoever has it, and just give it back to Hernandez and just end the just end the the whole storyline because it's really, 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 really bad. I'm sorry, but it's really bad. If you enjoy the storyline, hey, you're allowed to. You're entitled to your opinion, but I think this is one of the worst storylines that they've, that they've ever done. And it needs to end like like yesterday <laughs> because I'm going to drive down to Nashville and I'm going to grab that money roll and I'm going to spend it. Okay, If nobody wants to spend it, I'll, I'll take it and I'll spend it. All right, but but seriously, Scott Demore, get involved, get the money roll, give it back to Hernandez, and let's move on. Okay, that's it for me. My name is Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.